is our home for the next four days. This is the Marriott Skycliff Hotel in Bournemouth. I'm paying £209 a night, so four nights here. I don't regard that as cheap, so I've got higher standards than I expect a hotel like this to come up to. Anyway, first thing to notice is that I've actually not been put in the main building. I've been put in a separate building over on the other side of the courtyard that I'm just walking through now. So this is the block that I've been put in, um, and that is another part of the hotel. And that is the main part of the hotel there. Right, this is our room. We have booked a double room and, well, the yeah, starting off is the wardrobe. So, nicely open plan with ironing board, of course. There we go, and even an iron. And then through here, this is the room as such. Uh, so, pretty much everything you'd expect. The, Cinema size television, uh, super double size bed, uh, and window, which is um, disappointingly small. As is, uh, or certainly disappointing, is the view uh, which we have uh, from the window a lovely view of a flat roof. So I think I'll do a short story on this one. And this is the bathroom, which is fine, uh, except this light at the bottom. I can't find a switch for it. I have no understanding as to why that has to be kept on permanently. When I got here two days ago, the only tea that they had here was this peppermint tea. Well, that's not quite the real, the real thing. So I actually had to go and ask them for some uh, real tea, which um, they, um, they bought over. But uh, you know those biscuits they get, you get with these, um, with the, the, the tea? Well, they don't have any. So given the cost that we are uh, paying for this place, it was a bit mean of them. Bed itself, nice and comfortable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I'm heading for breakfast, and I've already had breakfast here, had it uh, yesterday, and I've got to say, I was very disappointed with it. I had the full English, uh, the mushrooms were unappealing, and the sausages were like, it was as if they'd made, made from a rather hard rubber. So I'm going to have the full English again this morning, but this time I'm going to film it, and hopefully things have improved. So from full cooked English breakfast, we've got uh, scrambled eggs, fried eggs, and we've got done. We've got sausages. We've had a problem yesterday. Bacon, mushrooms. A bit more appealing today. That's tried it under there, yeah. Uh, Baked beans and hash browns. Well, we have the same problem with the sausages. And uh, the texture is that of burnt rubber. Well, the Hercules is particularly well known because it's at the top of this rather high cliff. It's a fantastic view of the beaches. But if you're not interested in beaches, you can always look at the goats that are kept up here as well. I suspect these are kept to keep the vegetation under control. <laughs> For the past two days I've been having the English 
full English for breakfast and I've got to say I'm really disappointed with it. So this morning we're going to be trying the Continental. Right, well I think that was a bit of an improvement on the full English, uh, but I wouldn't uh, hang around to have breakfast because the quantity uh, they put out for the, uh, the Continental uh, was rather limited. Right, my four days here are now over. So, what do I think of this place? Well, um, my niggles are that uh, I got to the room, uh, there was no tea, uh, no biscuits. They sorted the tea out straight away. I've got to say, the staff here are wonderful, absolutely fantastic. Uh, they sorted the tea problem out. Uh, so when I came back in the room, there, there were tea bags waiting for me. Uh, no biscuits. Um, hmm. The other things that niggled me, well, you know, the Wi-Fi system crashed my phone. Uh, so I had to turn the Wi-Fi off on my phone, so I ended up having to pay for the um, my own data. Uh, and when you're in touch constantly with back home, uh, as I need to be, then that was, um, that was an unnecessary expense. Uh, so that was irritating, uh, but it was really the breakfast. Uh, that's what's really got me. Uh, this is bed and breakfast, so it's half the deal. Uh, and the breakfasts were just way below what the, the standards uh, should have been. Uh, the, those sausages were inedible. Uh, the It was useful for me that, then just to switch to doing the continental breakfast, but there was hardly any of it. Uh, so I've got to say that that was disappointing. The building itself is good. It's fine. Uh, it's clean. It's tidy. It's functional. It does the job. Uh, but that breakfast bit, that's what really stops me from uh, wanting to come here again. I'd struggle to say that I would recommend this hotel given the price I paid for it. There is one thing I'm going to miss about the High Cliff Hotel, and that's the goats on the cliff out the front. So, as a goat farm myself, I would recommend every hotel should have at least a couple of goats.